Hi guys, we're in the garage. Um, as I promised, I said I'll do a live key on opening. It's not live to you, but it's live to me. Um, but you get to see exactly what comes out and how it looks. Be it disaster, happiness, whatever. Let's hold our fingers crossed. Okay, here we go. So the lid's very heavy. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I'm gonna give you a little look inside. When I go oh, it's not normally a good sign. Okay, if I show you in here, you can see we've got some drips. Can you see that? It's all looking very brown, not too exciting at all. Hmm. Let's get them out one at a time and we'll see what's happened. Okay, as you can see, I'm hands free, which is pretty good. I thought someone was calling me, but they're not. Um, now I'm hands free, I can do the kiln opening without dropping anything, she says. Oh. Goblet number one. This is um, Iron Luster over Smoky Merlot. And you can probably just about see the smoky merlot there. The rest of it, pants. There's a little bit of dripping going on at the top. Not happy with that. That's going to get refired. You can see there's, it's quite nice inside. But that, nope. That will get put back in. So this is a pair that was going to be for sale. Um, again, next one. Smoky Merlot on the bottom, focus, focus, and hmm, a bit of dripping, better than the other one, but still, not my favourite. Tried the Iron Luster, looked good on a few other things, but okay, now these were mine. Actually, the Smoky Merlot has come out a bit better on this one. I don't know if you can see that, focus. Hmm. Some more dripping and the inside. A bit difficult to see in that one. But these ones were for me. The reason this was for me is because this middle bit blew out a little bit. I don't mind it, but I can't sell that. So that was for me to test. Another one. That one's not too bad. You've got proper smoky Merlot at the bottom here. And the Iron Luster has started to do that oily effect. Um, hmm. Still, I think I had my kiln too high. It should be fired at 1222. That's 1222 degrees Celsius. But I always fire at 1207. And I thought I would take it a bit higher because it strengthens it even more. Um, but obviously my kiln is high enough at 1207 actually that's quite pretty I don't know if you can see that there is a little pretty bit in there okay so next thing oh oh hang on we've had some drippage this is quite nice colors are good I just did little dots all over this and you can see where the dots are it just runs into the dots Mm, light's not very good so as you can see drips grind those off I've got grinder on a bench in here and I'll just grind those drips off it'll be all right afterwards but be a bit wonky if I try and put that down but that's quite nice quite like that good colors I'll show them in the daylight probably tomorrow so we got oh this one's stuck stay there when something's stuck you never want to see that because that means damage to your kiln shelf drips on the kiln shelf and now that means I've now got to grind the whole shelf well, I've got a small hand grinder and I'll do that with that bear with there we go and it's off okay now this is quite nice this is iron luster around the top and all over and then I've done a band of palladium which is almost like a silver color but that's actually come out really nice till you look at the bottom it's run 
too much glaze where the handle was stuck to the shelf again I'll have to grind that off or lose a bit of my name but hey ho it might even chip off let's try it no nope, I'm gonna grind it in case it pulls a chunk out but yeah look at that some really good shine on that like that it's like a mirror Ooh. what else have we got it's exciting eh? it's like Christmas Oh, and another one. Another bit of dripping. This one was stuck, but it's actually come off. See that? Another bit of grinding. Palladium, by its very nature of being like a metal, um, does tend to run quite a lot. So here we go. Like that? It's quite pretty. Very shiny. Ooh. And this is one of my swirly mugs. I don't know if you saw that in the other one as well. Can you see those swirls in it? So you just swirl it as you're making it. So that's that. Mm. Mixed bag really, isn't it? Not great. Not terrible, but at least it's all still in one piece. This. Do you remember this? Did I show you this? This is the bottom of the butter dish. That's all right. That's come out good. I like that. Right, now you're going to have to bear with because I've got to take the shelf out. My gloves. Oh, I can do a puppet show. No, focus, Trace. Okay, we'll do that later. I'm going to disappear, but I'll be back. It's like magic. sound good but I think it's all right now I'm going to show you my shelf look at that drips chunks out of it it's a big chunk out there these kiln shelves are about 40 quid each you don't want that to happen and I even put them on these little some of them put on these little bats save my shelves okay we're on to the next bit now this is some of that Duncan matte glaze which is pastel colours and very flat not not high shine at all not like on the um, I'm a bit distracted because I keep looking out there because I'm on the drive right let me show you the next bit huh? yes so to that pink bottom we have the pink top and here it is and on the top is the little squizzer squirrel to you and me look at that he's cute and he looks lovely with the um carving i showed you the carving didn't i the other day that looks wicked i love that so success oh look very fizzy i've been out in the rain right what next another bar dish let's if you hear any clanging, it's me moving the props. Oh, I don't like to see that. There's a little bit of... Oh, no, that's all right. Here we go. Yes, perfect. So this is the pale blue. Can you see that? It's all looking good. And I always tend to put the same colour in my initials. And I always put the date and where I made it. So it just says 19 Hartford. Um... Oh, so there we go. Let's see the top. What did the top have? An owl. That goes really well with the carving around the bottom. Although the colour didn't stay. I was quite surprised about that because the one I did the other day, it completely took the colour. But then this is a matte glaze on top of a gloss glaze. So maybe that's the reason why. But it still looks nice. I like that great handle yay I'm have to speed it up because I'm not going to have enough time right. you remember that bowl I showed you twice last time I was a bit excited weren't I and I just kept showing you the same thing here it is that carving that's come out lovely I like this glaze it's very flat very tactile 
Although I can't feel a thing through these, so I don't know what I'm talking about. It could feel like shit for all I know. Anyway, put that down there. Let's find the next one. Ah, remember the carved ones with the funky handles? There it is. That's come out fabulous. That took ages doing all that carving. We have got a bit of bubbles on there, but I think that's going to be all right. I think that will be all right. Oh, I've got a few bubbles inside. That's not all right. But a refire, and that'll all be good. So that'll go back in the kiln. But I love it. What do you think of that? Do you see? Like it? Should I do more of these? Yeah, I like that. I love carving. Like I said before, it's cathartic. What have we got here? Oh, this is the cream one. So we've got the blue, the pink and the cream. This is the cream one. A bit of bubbles again on this. That's fired just a bit too high. You probably wouldn't even notice it, but... What do you reckon? Nice? Not nice? Oh, I love it. Actually, that is lovely. I really like that one. Yay, success, success. Okay. We've got a little tiny comfy mug. Look at this one. That's a good coffee one for the morning. Little buttons, little jumper one. That's pale pink. What's in there? Let's make sure that will come out. Yep, that's all gone. Yeah, nice. There, what do you reckon? Keep doing them. Right, next shell, so bear with. I have to get rid of the props. Oh, just noticed bits of my shelf are falling, bits of my kiln are falling out, which you don't want. That's bad, bad news. I've right, got to fix that somehow. Okay, next shelf out. It's very heavy and it's very awkward to get these gloves down the side of a tiny little gap to get it out without crashing the stuff underneath. So far I've managed, but every time I think I'm going to smash something. So here we go, we're back to more matte ones. <gasps> this one, be happy. Yes, that's come out nice. Success. Like that. Do you like that? Next. What's this one? Oh, that was a good one. Oh, what's that? Goodness me, I've got something going on with that one. I don't know what that is. I've got some white. I've got some... Overall, it's okay. See that? That was like a carving, like the flowers that I do, but straight into the pink. But on the inside, I don't know if you can see, but I've got blue splodges, a big white splodge. I've got bubbles. It's just all going on. No, that's a no. That one definitely either needs a fix or a bin. And unfortunately that happens with every firing, and it's not just me. Every other potter says if they get 75, 50, 75% out of the kiln, they're happy. So I'm doing not too bad at the moment. Right, next bit. Oh, we've got some more bubbles. Hmm. That's just a plain one. I didn't do anything with that, but I liked the handle. But look. See that? That's not supposed to happen. So they, but these will either get a refire and the bubbles will just go and I'll do them on a bit of a lower temperature or it goes in the bin. Can't do anything with that. Right, speeding up because it's taking a long time. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. That's a good one. Look at this. Remember this one? This is done in the matte cream. That's come out lovely. That's perfect all over. Good success. 
Ta -da. Next one. This was my favourite one. Let's hope it's all good. Whoop. Yes. Perfect. This is pale pink. Matte pink. Can you see that? Can it focus? Yeah. That's looking lovely. Quick, quick, quick. I'm supposed to be cooking dinner as well because we've got not only my daughter, her husband, three children, the dog. We've also got my son, his dog, my daughter. She hasn't got a dog, but they're all coming for dinner tonight and I'm supposed to be cooking. I'm trying to do the video. Now my daughter's going to come out shouting at me. Just wait and see. Hang on. I can hear her calling, so I'm just going to hide. <gasps> this one has come out fabulous too. This is a blue one. It's great. Great inside. Yay. Really happy with those. I'm just balancing them precariously, so anything could fall at any given moment. But apart from that, it's all good. What have we got here? Oh, this is that random one with all the different patterns on it. I like it. Blue inside, cream on the outside. Nice. What do you reckon? This is... That's right on my butter dish. Don't let that be my disaster for today. Shit on it. I think it's alright. I've got to find out when I get it indoors. You'll see tears if it isn't. Two more. This one? Oh, that's nice too. This is pink on the outside, cream on the inside. Nice bit of carving, but that's completely covered. Really like that. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, well. And then one more. I've got this little didder. This is my little coffee mug. Ah, oh, cool coffee mug. What do you reckon? Can you see it? Too much glove, isn't it? Too... I don't even think it's hot in there. Let me take my gloves off. She's still calling me. She's still calling me, so she's going to be out in a minute. Oh, it is bloody hot. It is hot. It is hot, so I'm not going to hold it for long. But, how's that? Bit of an Aztec design. That's it. That's everything out. So, let me do a quick evaluation. Which one is my favourite? I'm going to go with this one. This is hot, so I can't hold it for long. But this is my favourite. What do you think? Vote. Tell me. Which one did you like? Which one did you think was rubbish? Were me goblets crap? Do you like matte glaze? Just tell me what you think. I'd really like to know your views and your comments. So, till next time, we'll see you later, you crazy potters. I keep doing it wrong. See ya.